What? Apparently. Hmm? Ah! What did you just say? Ah! Ah! Son, what did you just say? I said. Ah! Before that, there's an urban legend about a secret menu at Joyful Burger. You have my attention. The most secret item on it is a burger. It is said that the burger does not exist until someone speaks its name. It must be summoned from the other side. Wait, isn't that how you order food anyway? You don't get it, dude. Apparently this burger is so hardcore, it qualifies as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For seven people, for seven years. And they say that if you eat it in 15 minutes, they'll pay. Pay for the burger? No, your hospital fees. <gasps> this is the burger that I've been searching for all my life. My Atlantis, my Montezuma's gold, my Moby Dick. Except not literally, as I already ate a white whale. There's only one problem, Dad. You can't order it without knowing its name. Welcome to Joyful Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> yes, I'd like a secret <laughs> burger, please. Uh, could you repeat your order, sir? Uh, yes, I would like the secret <laughs> burger, please. Uh, excuse me? Listen, little man, I'm the customer here, and I don't want to have to repeat my order. I'm sorry, sir, but that's not an intercom. Can I take your order, please? One <laughs> burger. Uh, for real? Was I not clear enough? Uh, have it your way, sir. <laughs> he meant the secret burger! I see. And what is the name of the aforementioned secret burger? Ah, I got it. It's called the Bane Thickener. The Deep Fried Thrombosis? The Meet Your Maker? The Heartbreaker? The Bundertaker? The Commander in Beef? The Bowel Buster? No? More mysterious, maybe. The Aluma Patty? The Area Beef D1? The Builder Burger? Come on, man, you know what we're talking about. Maybe, but I can't serve you something you don't even know the name of. There's only so many names it could be. We just need to figure out which one. <laughs> you mean figure out sand which one. Dude, stop with the puns. I can't. I've fallen down the pun hole. I've gone so deep I'm punder ground. What a pun fortunate turn of events. I've pundermined any respect you had for me. I don't understand why I... Ow! Dude, I know it was annoying, but it didn't warrant a punch. Ow! It wasn't even a pun. That's just what that word is. So, the plan is you guys get hired at Joyful Burger. Why don't you get hired? I can't. Why? Uh, because of my medical condition? Really? Well, I get this allergic reaction to effort. The symptoms are dangling arms, constant eye rolls, and a breathing problem that makes me sigh a lot. <sighs> Being lazy is not a disease, Dad. No, it's true, I really am. Oh, I can't be bothered to finish that sentence. I'll give you 20 bucks if you do it. Wow, you've reached a whole new level of laziness. You've invented the reverse job. But, okay, so what? We get hired and then we look for the name of the secret burger? They won't just tell anyone. They'll need to trust you. So first, you have to be the best employees ever. I don't know what that secret ingredient is, but the customers just love your burgers. The secret ingredient is love. Mm, 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 mm. Great job! The board wants you two as managers. Mm. There's only one problem. You need to have our labor costs. Ah! The board wants you as senior members. There's only one problem. You need to double production. Ah! Ah! Great job. The board wants you as our new CEOs. There's only one problem. You still have hearts. And in other news, business moguls Gumball and Darwin Watterson have sold their joyful burger shares for a whopping $4.6 billion. Our reporter has an exclusive interview from their lavish new mansion.